wines and spirits review uh, in the garden today because I'm in the shade because like most people in the country it's a bit wack and uh, here we go that's better so I've been over to Losco in Derbyshire to the the tip in and uh, this is a, a micro pub and uh, I do look a bit the angle's not right is it that's it I like being in the beer room, but uh, it's too hot in there today. It's uh, doors open. It's getting air in there now. But anyway, I've been to the tip in in, in Losco in Derbyshire. Picked up some draft beer, so I'll show you the draft beer. Now, bear in mind that when it's draft, you know, and the good fella made me a little, <laughs> a little sign using some bit of paper. So it's this is from Brass Castle, based in Moulton in Yorkshire. Um, Moulton's not far away, memory serves me right, from Flamingo Land, a theme park I absolutely love. Although I do wish they'd get off the backsides and get that 10 in version roller coaster up and running because you know it's um, it's, it's already. I don't know why they haven't got it up and running. I know, I know Covid's here, but theme, big business at theme parks with getting the people out there. Uh, some theme parks manage it right, some don't. So, my first ever beer from Brass Castle, that I know of at least. Northern Blonde, 3.9%. Thank you to the good fella at the tip in. And I think his name's Larry. Um, and I only know that because somebody else messaged me on YouTube to say um, who served you and that. And uh, it was, and I said it was a dark haired bloke. And uh, so I presume it was him. So. It's been poured, oh, about an hour or so ago. Yeah, yeah, about an hour or so ago. Uh, it's gone straight in the fridge because it's a bit warm. And uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, good, nice little head on it. Nice little bit of action there. Right, pour this out. So as you can see, nice clear pour, um, golden colour, especially in this light at least. A little bit of a head on it, but bearing in mind, it's been poured into a bottle. The bottle is not, a, it's not recarbonating it or anything like that, so always one thing to remember. Nice looking pour anyway. Let's get on with the beer review. Oh, nice maltiness to it, nice sweet malty on the nose. Let's get tasting, and that breeze is beautiful because in the sun it's absolutely awful. I mean, we all moan about the weather in this country, but there's a thing. I think there's a sweet spot from about 18 to about 26, and that's lovely. When it goes over 26, everyone starts moaning. Pretty much like the winter when it's freezing and wet all the time. And you know this weather. <clears throat> The heat of this weather, drinking a nice cold beer, it's what it's all about, and to, you know, supporting these um, breweries. I mean, today I picked up um, five drafts, half, half a pint of each. Can't afford to go buying pints of each, but you know, to do the review to get a lot of these beers I've never seen in cans or bottles in shops, so not in Nottingham anyway. So it's nice to support places that you don't normally see or aren't available in the pubs in the, the area around me. Um, I travelled from, from where we live in Nottingham to Losco. It's about 25 minutes, so it's not too far really. Just slightly nestled inside Derbyshire, which um, on the way to the old American Adventure theme park, sadly it shut down. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a crippler. It was a great theme park, really sad that the... Uh, that it wasn't bought by somebody with some more imagination. And I, it, what killed it is when they shut down the big rides, just killed the park. Tried to turn it into some sort of family park and it, it did, it ruined it, absolutely ruined it. So. Lovely sweet malt nose. Um, Nice malty taste, reminds me of the best bitter really, you know, it's uh, dead easy drinking. 
3.9%. So, you know, you can have a pint and uh, you can drive after that. Some people obviously don't. I do understand all that, uh, the reasons why. But it's one of those that you, you could, I mean, you probably get around two pints of this and driving, you know. But certainly a nice sessionable strength beer. Good to see. When you think about micro pubs these days, um, for me they're the future. Uh, pubs that have lots of different types of beers are going to be the winners in the long run. Pubs with good food are going to be the winners. Pubs that have neither have neither good food or lots of beers, interesting beers. Um, you know, you can have your cheap stuff all day long, but no one, people don't want that. We're in an age now where people want. Um, <clears throat> To get lots of different beers to try. Kids in the sweet shop, really. Yeah, I always fell down with this camera. It's better. I prefer the beer room because I've got everything set up perfectly. This is my shed. You can see me hedge in the background and, and my lovely painted deck, um, painted fence. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, really easy drinking, not too taxing. Uh, malty, going down well. As a family, we'd like to go up to Moulton this year and uh, and go over to uh, Flamingo Land, which isn't far away. Unless I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sure Moulton is near Flamingo Land. Uh, I really ought to do these check-ins before I actually do reviews. You know, instead of yakking and talking about beers and stuff, I ought to really do all that. But, um, you know, we can't. Oh, the camera's gone. I put my bottle behind the camera. That's it. Camera angles. Bane of my life. Even when you're in the bedroom, it's a bane trying to get it to be the right. Sun comes out when you're doing a bear review. <laughs> so, yeah, very easy drinking. Very palatable and a good starter beer, a good sessionable starter beer, 3.9%. Very easy drinking. Yeah, good start to the day. I do like doing these half pint reviews because, one, uh, from a budget side of things, it's, you know, it's cheaper than actually going to shops and buying bottles and cans. And you get to try beers that you've never tried before. So, in a lot of ways, it's great. That's where going to your local micro pubs, your tap rooms, and taking some bottles. That, the bottle that I used is great. You know, taking it, having a drink there, getting, having a few beers there, and um, then taking some home for later reviews, especially if it's stuff that. You know, especially if it's too busy to do a review in the pub. Some people can do reviews in the pub, some can't. It is, unless you, uh, I find that I need to be tipsy before I can do a review in front of people. Uh, like in the Dibble Week when I was at the Castle Rock Brewery pub. Um, I was alright. Once I'd had a drink, I didn't really care what other people thought. But when I'm very sober, it's, it's not so easy. For me, out of, um, so, Golden Paw. I know they call it blonde, but it looked golden to me. A little malty nose, malty on taste, easy drinking, a good 3.9 out of 5 for me. And uh, that's it for this review. First ever beer from Brass Castle, and uh, yeah, I liked it. Cheers.